Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to my May empties. I will share with you some products that I went through and give just like a little bit of a review of what I thought about each one. The first product I will share with you is the Aussie Instant Freeze Mousse 24 hour maximum hold like this. Love this product. It is one of two that go into my mousse cocktail that I put in this head of hair of mine. Holy grail, love, repurchased already, yes. The next product is also by Aussie. It is their three minute miracle in moist. And I used two of them this month because I have a lot of hair and when I co-wash my hair, that's what I use. And I love that product. I buy them in a two pack at Walmart to save money. It used to only be that it was the three minute miracle blank, like no title to it, but now they have like a smoothing one, the moist, which is their original formulation and some other one, but that's the one that I use. The next five products that I'm going to share with you are all face masks. The first one is the retinol. It's by Global Beauty Care Retinol under eye pads. There was a two pack. For $1.99, I got this at TJ Maxx and would not repurchase. I did not notice any significant de-puffing. It's an anti-wrinkle serum. No, not, no. Nope. The next one is the Studio 35 Beauty, the Walgreens brand. This is the facial brightening sheet mask with fruit enzymes and bamboo extract. This was a yes. I really did like this one. It lived up to the claim of brightening my face. So yes, I would definitely get this one again. It was under $2. I think all this stuff was. Next mask is the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. This was a sample. I either got this in my Pinch Me box or from Anita at Walgreens. It has a very strong rose scent. It's a basic mud mask. I would not spend my money on it. So I'm glad it was a sample. The next two masks are by Freeman. I purchased both of these at Walmart. And the first one is the Pomegranate Revealing Peel Off Mask. It actually, I did use one and it got really gross. Like I couldn't really save it and it did repurchase it because I liked it so much. This is really fun to use, you know, it peels off. I think that's kind of cool. It reminds me of back in the day when we would take Elmer's glue and put it on our hand and let it dry and then peel it off and, you know. And then the other one by Freeman is the Diamond Mineral Rinse Mask. The claim is it boosts brilliance and radiance. And yes, I agree with that claim. This mask is, um, it's kind of like a mud mask that has very big exfoliating crystals. They say that there's diamonds in here, but I don't know about all that. And um, you leave it on, it says five to seven minutes. So you put it on, you let it dry down a little bit, and then they want you to massage it into your skin and then rinse it off. And it's very difficult to rinse off. So I suggest using this before you're getting into the shower and rinse it off in there because that's just what I suggest. The next is the bonus size oil of life. Cocoa butter and shea body wash, two in one, blah, blah, blah. I got this at Dollar Tree because I ran out of body wash and I was there. I picked it up and I will not repurchase this product ever, ever again in life because it did not lather, it did not, nothing. I got nothing. The last empty that I will share with you is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Butterfly Mascara in Midnight Black. It looks like that. I love this mascara. The formula is great. It is not wet. It goes on no clumps. It's very feathery kind of look and I, I love it. So I already bought me a new one. Those are my empties for May. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you. Mwah!